Many football fans dream of making it to the NFL one day, but for the few chosen ones, the dream can actually become a reality. Dennis Houston is one such young man who just made it to the big leagues. He recently got drafted and joined the Dallas Cowboys, so let's look at his story. Houston was born in San Antonio, Texas on April 24, 1999. He did his initial schooling from Earl Warren High School, but it seemed like football was in this kid's destiny. He went on to join Houston Baptist University, where he began playing football. As a freshman, he caught 33 receptions for 362 yards and was already impressing everyone. But unfortunately, the 18-year-old Houston got into some legal trouble. And this is likely the reason he ended up transferring colleges. For his sophomore year, Houston joined Fullerton College in California. Although this was far from home, Houston still managed to stand out in the West Coast football scene. During this season, he played in 10 games and caught 26 passes for 360 yards, along with three touchdowns. The NFL is featuring lots of rookies this year, but Dennis Houston is definitely a standout. If you want to stay updated with the football world, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button. Houston eventually chose to spend the remainder of his college years at Western Illinois University, and this is where he truly shined. The Western Illinois Leathernecks were about to welcome a star. During his junior year in 2019, he played in eight games with six starts. Here, he led the offense with 539 receiving yards and even added three receiving touchdowns. On top of that, he was the only Leatherneck to post two games with 100-plus receiving yards. As if all this wasn't enough, the kid went viral with a feature on ESPN's You Got Mossed for an unbelievable touchdown reception against the Southern Illinois defender. During his first season as a senior, Houston continued to prove his talent. He won various titles including First Team All MVFC, an MVFC President's Council Academic Excellence Award, an MVFC Commissioner's Academic Excellence Award, and was even featured on the MVFC Academic Honor Roll. The MVFC stands for the Missouri Valley Football Conference and is one of the most prestigious Midwestern college-level events. Houston appeared in all six games for the 2020 season. During his time, he caught a career-high nine passes against Missouri State and South Dakota State. Houston also managed a 108-yard receiving game versus North Dakota, which is quite crazy. By the end, he ranked eighth in the nation in receptions per game. After such a thrilling college career, this kid was about to end his final season with a bang. He ended his Leathernecks career as one of the nation's top wide receivers. During his final season in 2021, Houston showed up in all 11 games. He topped the MVFC in receptions per game and total receptions. At this point, it seemed like he was just born to be legendary. He finally ended the season with six touchdown receptions and 1,015 receiving yards and was named the first team All-MVFC yet again. Now with his college career out of the way, Houston was only eyeing one thing, and that was to make it to the NFL. Houston immediately caught the Dallas Cowboys' eye in minicamp. He even emerged as one of quarterback Dak Prescott's go-to targets during scrimmages in training camp. This comes as a surprise to no one, but on May 3, 2022, Houston signed with the Cowboys as an undrafted free agent. And then finally, in June 2022, the Cowboys announced that Houston made it to the official 53-man roster as a wide receiver. Everyone's excited to see how this kid from San Antonio will make a name for himself because his future seems pretty bright. With that, today's video comes to a close. We would love to hear what you guys think about this rookie and what you're expecting from him, so share your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can bring more content like this to you. Thanks for watching.